Hello everyone. Good morning. How are you doing? All right. Okay. So, um, episode two. <laughs> yeah, episode two. So, uh, I'm gonna continue from where I stopped in the last video. Right. I stopped at you know we were discussing uh, a Bitcoin buy trade idea I took which uh, was this one, right? So we are going to proceed uh, into looking at different um, trade ideas I have taken on Bitcoin, okay? So uh, the last episode, which was the first episode was amazing. You know, I've watched it a couple of times and uh, it's really, really amazing, okay? So this is episode two, you guys are welcome. Let us proceed. All right, so um, this was where we stopped in the last um, in the last episode, right? We're looking at this. I took a buy from here. You know, this was um, as you can see the date stamp on it, it was January um, on the sixth. Starts January the sixth, twenty twenty one, nine eleven in the morning. You understand? Eleven. That's a that's a magic number. <laughs> it's a miracle number for me you understand so um we're looking to take a buy or i was looking to take a buy at 33901.44 uh with the stop loss just down here and then okay the second um the second screenshot has you know a target so uh my first target was the high so i was targeting this I as my first target at 35872.27. Okay, so that was my first TP. You understand? So entry here with stop loss here. Ah, looking at it, it should be uh, one or three and above, right? But as we can see, this trade actually gave, you know, a one to 11 risk to reward on this trade. So, I mean, it actually, you know, gave more, but, you know, considering this drop, you know, you know, many of us might have been taken out. Maybe we adjusted our stop loss and all of that, right? So let's just 
leave it at one to 11. And I'm sure, you know, I think we had it, right? So this was the last trade. So the fourth trade, you know, I marked out was also a win, you know, plus 3%. And then we have plus 11%, to believe it's like to go that far. So the total based on the last call was what? Uh, 12% and, you know, uh, 52%. So we're just going to continue from there. All right, I'm just going to continue from there. So we're just going to do this and then we can uh, proceed. All right, so yeah, so we are done with this. Let me just uh, delete this one and then we proceed. All right, so the next trade I took, all right, so this was this, you know, I was anticipating for price to hit my target one and obviously it did, right? Gave a rich reward of one to 11. Amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. All right, so the next um, trade, this one. So, okay, like this was the one where I marked out everything together, understand? So I just, from like when I took the first trade at, you know, as you can see, um, all the way down at 17K, right? So just like did, <laughs> to just show myself everything like, okay, I took an entry. Yeah, so as Bitcoin was going up, you know, I was, you know, catching buy opportunities as it was going up. Understand? So this is everything, as you can see. <laughs> Amazing. All right. So the next trade idea, uh, from what I can see, I think is this one, right? Uh, so this was the target one. Obviously, you guys can see how Bitcoin really like went all the way to the upside. So like 39K. Understand? So I think I was looking to take a buy from here. Yeah. So this was January 8, uh, 2021, right? January the hit, uh, 2021. I think, was it this one? All right, yes, it was this one. Yes, exactly. So let's check. Uh, the trade idea was, you know, also on the 15 minutes time frame, right? It was also on the 15 minutes time frame. I was targeting, you know, this uh, last, you know, bearish candle before this bullish move that closed above the structure. Okay, so same thing. Understand the first thing I always try to look out for is what the breaker structure. So in what direction is Bitcoin going? So I want to trade, you know, with the direction of the market. So I was looking to take a buy opportunity. But from what I can see, I think I just marked it out. There was really no stop loss on the trade, you know, no like entry. It just like, okay, this was a sniper. That's if price is going to come back down and mitigation to take place, then, you know, uh, I'm looking at price rejecting from, you know, the sniper entry, which is the open of the sell candle or 50% of, you know, uh, the candle, you know, then so 50% sniper, sniper and not. <laughs> All right. So that was what I was looking at. Okay. Let me uh, copy the link and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. All right. So we have the link now. All right. So we have it on, uh, on the web, on, on the browser. Okay. So 50% entry and also the open of the candle. That was where I was looking to uh, possibly take a buy on this. All right, so let's see what happened. Okay, so we had was also on the 15 minutes time frame. Uh, I'm sure this was the candle, yeah. All right, so this was the candle. This area I was looking to take a buy, yeah. All right, as you can see, um, the entry was at. Okay, so the entry was, um, check it, thirty eight six ninety one point thirty seven. Okay, just like what we have here, 38,691.37. Uh, let's see what happened, okay? So price actually went up. Okay, so price did not activate me yet. And then I can see I have a sell limit here also. So let's check if we have the screenshot for that. Okay, so obviously we can see that this played out, gave a one to five weeks to reward. But then I think we had that break of structure. Okay, so I remember this trade idea when I marked it out on, you know, January, uh, on January 8th, 2021, that was around 4.23 p.m. my time. Understand? So, you know, Bitcoin has been buying, has been buying, has been buying, has been buying. And then, you know, I was already on the lookout for a break of structure to the downside. I was on the lookout for a break of structure to the downside. And then on the five minutes, I was able to spot, you know, our Bitcoin got to 42K and then rejected. 
So Bitcoin got 42K and you gave, you know, a massive drop to the downside that actually broke the structure. So now I may not be able to show you, you know, the five minutes chat on this because I cannot go back that far in time. You understand? I can go back. Trading view will not allow me to go back that far in time. So we're just going to like use uh, this. So now remember, I have a buy opportunity down. And then I was also open to a sell opportunity because looking at how Bitcoin got to a quarter point, which is 42K, and then rejected down, broke structure because in terms of the market structure, we know that this is the higher high, this is the higher low, and then we have a new higher high in this area, right? And then market broke structure. You know, we had this break of structure in this area. Now this is a lower low. So I was open to a sell opportunity. I was also, you know, why having you know the buy opportunity down okay so i wanted to sell and i also wanted to buy you understand and then um let me just copy this also so we're going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it here again all right so this was it right we can see it yeah on 8th of january i'm looking at the size i think i used my phone to quickly do the markup right and then for this i used my phone also all right, so let's see what happened, okay? So this was the buy, and then we had a five-minute break of structure in this area. As you can see, we had a five-minute break of structure in this area. And from what I can see, okay, from what I can see, let me do this quickly. All right. Uh, okay, so it was here we had a five-minute break of structure. Okay, the market gave us that higher high higher low and on the five minutes this week was actually you know a body candle that closed above this last higher high just like we can see here right we had this last push up captured this kind of captured the dynamic liquidity that was forming and then after that price hit the 42k and then we had like a big massive drop to the downside right and then it broke this five minute structure but on the 15 minutes we only have a week but well, actually on the five minutes, it was actually, you know, a break. It was actually a big body candle that closed, you know, above this previous higher high, gave us a new higher high, and then it actually broke structure to the downside here. And then I was looking for what a sell opportunity to take Bitcoin to the downside. You understand? And looking at how it hits, you know, a 42, you know, how we hit 42,000, which is a quarter point, and then looking at the big drop, but that can give me, you know, a uh, sell opportunity that, you know, that can give me that idea that this might actually hold, you understand. And then I've actually been waiting for the retracement also. Yeah, I think I was actually waiting for the retracement, but I don't want to force my opinion or what I am feeling or what I think the market should do. You understand? I don't want to force my opinion on the market. Okay, I'm just going to be open to whatever the market presents to me. That is why, although I was looking for sell opportunities, understand, I was looking for the retracement, but I was still catching buys because the market was still bullish. Okay, because I'm still, I still want to trade in the direction of the market. You understand? But then we had this break of structure, and then I was like, okay, I think Bitcoin might be ready to go down now. Understand? And then I had this, you know, my entry here, with the stop loss, you know, at a quarter point, and then I was targeting, you know. 39, 8, 30, 8. That was where market dropped to and then started rejecting from. You understand? So as you can see, the sell opportunity played out. Price came here, mitigation happened, and then, you know, price dropped. So as price was dropping, I still had my buy limit also, okay? So my buy limit in this area, I was actually, you know, before I actually saw the sell, I saw the buy first, right? Because if you see, although both of them are actually on the eight. But the time stamp is different. This is January 8th, 10, 12. This was 10 a.m. at uh, like 10 in the morning, my time. Why I actually marked this out four, you know, four in the afternoon. Okay. It was the same day, but in the morning was a buy trade idea. In the afternoon was a sell trade idea. And luckily for me, you know, both of them actually played out. So you can see this was the buy. Yes. Yeah, so we had. The sell is already in profit, okay, but the sell actually activated before the buy. But as we can see, 
the buy also played out and it gave me a one to five risk to reward. So I got activated also a sniper entry, right? Sniper entry for the buy, sniper entry for the sell. Very amazing. Right. And then you can see, so we had a little bit of retracement. Uh, okay. And then, you know, price actually went all the way to like one to five. Okay. So this trade was a one of five risk to reward. And then remember, I have the sell that already has hit one to three, just waiting to see how far it can go down. Came back up a little, understand? And then we had like the big drop to the downside. Okay. You can see, so consolidated for a while. And then, you know, the big drop started and then it started going down and then it started going down and then it started going down. <laughs> you understand? So for the buy actually played out, you know, if we want a one to three, if you're going for a one to three, if you're going for a one to three, you had it total risk reward on this street was one of five. The sell obviously one to three also, and then like a one to 22. And right. so now we're going to continue from where we stop here. Okay, we're going to continue from where we stop here. All right, so if we are going for a reward of one to three, right? So the fifth trade, which was the buy, actually gave us one to three, and then total reward was one to five. Okay, so um, let's continue. So, okay, let's come here and say fifth, okay, trade. Okay, that was plus 3% also. And then for the total reward and the trade is actually going to be, you know, one to five. That's for the buy. So it's going to be uh, 5%. Okay, it's going to be 5%. All right. And then uh, the buy played out, gave it one to five risk to reward. Amazing, so we're done with that. And now the sell, okay, so this was the buy, played out, you know, and then the sell also played out. And as you can see, this was a candle without a week. So this five minute candle, you know, actually just spiked up to capture the dynamic liquidity that was forming. And then price fell all the way to the downside. As you can see, we had some imbalances in price as price was going down and stand, and then price came back up. So for mitigation, filled with the imbalance and then it dropped. So obviously my target one got it and then price, as we can see, really, really, really came to the downside. So, and I mean, this teaches patience, you understand? Seeing our price, you know, fell and then consolidated for a while, you can see, and then price started to consolidate, you know, some people, you know, might be out of the trade, they can stand uh, the, like what price is doing consolidating? Is it gonna go up? Is it gonna come down? You know, I mean, it, it is all about being patient. That's all I can say. I understand because trading is patience. That's the truth. Yeah, it might actually go your way, but you don't expect every trade, once it, once it activates you, should just drop and then go in your way if you're selling. And then maybe you're looking for a buy opportunity, you expect market to activate you and then just go in your way immediately. I mean, at times it's going to do like that. At times you take a trade and then immediately market start going in your direction fast and then it hits your TP, you get. But then some cases also, you be in a trade, market is going to consolidate for a while before going in the direction you want, okay? Just be patient enough to see it play out, okay? Be patient enough to see it play out. Once you're in for the sell, you're in. Once you're in for the buy, you're in. Let the market prove your analysis right or wrong. Okay, and this was an amazing trade idea for me, but the buy and the sell actually played out. And as you can see, this gave me, you know, I think a one to 22 risk to reward. So a one to 22 risk to reward, uh, that was very, very amazing. As you can see, played out perfectly. So it's a one to 22 risk to reward on this trade. So I was able to catch the beginning of the retracement after Bitcoin hit 42K. You know, that was very amazing because I was on the lookout for that, you know, uh, breaker structure. And I was so lucky to see it on the five minute like we have here. As you can see, January the hit 2021, we had a breaker structure and then immediately I knew what to do. Because again, the first thing I always look out for is what the structure of the market is. And then after, you know, 
I've been able to identify that, okay, the market is in a bullish like form or bearish form. Like is the market want that is the market bullish or is the market bearish? You know, okay, do I have some liquidity that has been captured? So which can do actually capture that liquidity? Do I have my range? Am I looking to buy or sell at, you know, uh, am I looking to buy at discount or am I looking to sell at premium areas? Understand? So all of those things I look out for quickly before, you know, having a trade idea. And as you can see, this played out perfectly, right? Give it one to 22 weeks to reward. Very, very awesome. All of this liquidity that was resting here, they all got captured, right? We had this liquidity, okay, captured by smart money. We also had this liquidity captured by smart money. We also had this liquidity captured by smart money. You know, they were just going for all of the liquidities that they had created as market was going up. That was very amazing. We want to 22 weeks to reward. Very good. So come back here. Yeah. And now the sixth trade, okay. So if you were going for like a one to three weeks to reward, like a one to three, you know, you made your 3% on this trade. And then if we're going for like, you know, the total reward on this, this gave like a one to 22 weeks to reward. So you're up plus 22%. I mean, it's looking good since we started we've not had any losses <laughs> but trust me they're going to be losses <laughs> okay yeah they're going to be losses all right uh, perfect amazing as you can see 122 very very good <laughs> all right so what do we have next okay so yes we have a 122 weeks to reward on that uh trade idea so the next um so i noticed you know took a sell Bitcoin is dropping. All right, maybe I can start adding, you know, more sell entries to my sell from my booth. He get and now I was looking to take a sell. Yeah, this was on the 11th of January, right? That was um, three days after, you know, 21, 31. That is 9, 31 p.m. my time. That is 9, 31 p.m. my time. I marked out a sell trade idea on Bitcoin, right? So I was looking to also on the 15 minutes time frame. Okay, the market was bearish. Okay, so I was looking to take a sell at 35734.32. All right, with a stop loss just above this R here. So let's look at it. Uh, this is it here. Obviously, this is it. So, all right. So what was I looking at or what was I? seen okay i saw that this liquidity was captured all right so we had this equal highs that was captured by this candle okay so i was waiting for mitigation to happen we have some internal liquidity we have our range and all so let's see if that hap if that played out wow it came so close i'm not sure it played out Yeah, so this actually hits stop loss. But then, you know, if like I had, if my entry was a little bit below, this might have actually, you know, played out for us. So this is our first loss. Okay, so let me, uh, let's, let's pull it out. Yes, then we're gonna copy it and paste it. All right, so I, I also mark this out on my phone. You understand? Okay, so um, this was our first loss. Entry was at 35, 7, 34, and then stop loss. That was how many pips? I was risking 674 pips. That's about $6.74 on my broker with a 0 0.01 lot size. So first loss, uh, we are down 1%. So we just lost 1% after we, you know, we've had so many. We had three, we had three, we had three, we had three. So now the seventh trade. You know. Minus, so we are actually down 1% now. Okay. And then the total uh, for total reward, we're just going to put minus 1%. 
okay, minus 1%. All right, so we actually lost the seventh trade. All right, that's good, that's good. Okay, I mean, losses are a part of the business, okay? If you're a Forex trader, you know, there's some, you will always, you know, take losses at some point, okay? Every day cannot be a winning trade for you. I mean, you might have, you might have some winning streaks like I did, but then expect losses at some point. And with that alone, you know, with the uncertainty that always comes to your mind that uh, what if this trade doesn't go my way? What if this trade doesn't go my way? That makes me every time to always practice risk management. I don't want to over leverage on a trade because this trade might actually be that losing trade for me. You understand? So risk management should always, always be in place. Okay. So like I said, hit SL. This did not play out for us. You understand? And let's see the next one. Okay. So this was um, this was on January 11th, right? January 11th. And then the next one I marked out. Okay, I can see. Yeah, I have changed the candle. Okay, this, I was using a yellow background and then with blue and white candles. So the next time I actually marked out was January 19th. That was eight days after, right? Eight days after. This was... Uh, on the three three hours time frame, this is 180. That is three hours time frame. So I was actually looking to take a sell. From what we can see here, okay, do we have the link? Okay, there is the link is not uh, present here. So we're just going to use this. Okay, so I published a trade idea on January 19, uh, 15.00. That is 3 p.m. Right? Um, time frame was on the three hours time frame. So from what I can see here, I think, you know, I was, okay, we have a bearish flag, okay, and then a bearish Gatli. So Bitcoin was giving us a Gatli ammonic pattern, a bearish Gatli ammonic pattern, also a bearish flag. So this ammonic pattern is calling for a sell, and then we also have this flag pattern that was going up in this flag formation, also calling for a sell. So now, Monique pattern is calling for a sell. Um, the flag is also calling for a sell. So I was looking to take a sell on this. And from what I can see, I said price left. So that means this did not activate me before dropping. So let's see. Okay, this was January 19 on the three hours time frame. So let's uh, quickly check January 19 on the three hours time frame. All right, so this did not play out took a loss on this one. All right, so January 19, three hours time frame. So let's just go to three hours and then we move to 19. I think this is it here. January 19. No, I'm, I'm coming. Was it January 19? January 19. Yes, January 19. This is sure this is it. This is this is February 1st. I'm coming. I'm coming, it's looking, it's looking a bit different. All right. Sorry guys, I'm coming. What time frame was it again? 180, that is um, three hours. January 19. January 19 is January. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I didn't mark it out. Yeah. This was it here. Yeah. Okay, this was it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. I see it now. Okay, so this was it. Yeah. I can see this 
X, A, B, C. Yeah, this was it. And then we had this uh, bearish flag information. So yes, this was it. I didn't mark this out. So the entry for this was um, 3890418. All right, let's quickly do that. Okay. Yeah. Stop loss was at four zero one forty one two one seventy three. Yes. So this was it. You can see we had this money pattern that was forming. We had this bearish. I did I say bearish exactly? I think I made a mistake there. Let me see. No, this is supposed to be a shark. Uh, this is supposed to be a shark pattern. Yes, because we do not have a Gatli that closes uh, below the sea. So I made a mistake here. It was supposed to be because the only ammonic pattern that closed that has a C below the A is either a shark pattern or a cipher. So those are the only two ammonic patterns that has a C that closes below. Or above an A. So I made a mistake here. It's supposed to be shark or cipher. And then we had this bearish flag also. But I was actually looking to take a sell here based on the ammonic pattern. And from what we can see, price did not fill me in. And then price just dropped. And then when I saw that, you know, canceled the trade idea, not valid anymore. So this did not um, play out. Okay. So we're going to say trade. Um, so we, we're going to say trade eight uh price left okay so eight trade uh we can just to put it in a new do uh price left so there was no risk to the word on that because um price left okay yep so the next one was February 1st, 240 hours. That is four hours, first time frame. So on the February 1st, yeah, let's check. So I think that was this one. So this one, price left, uh, we're done with this. Okay, so let's check the four hours. Then let's play. So I think this is it here. Okay, I need to be sure if this is it. Uh, we have this, I can see I marked out this as the break of structure. Okay, we have ready to sweep this candle imbalance in this candle. And then we'll be sure this is, okay, yes, yeah, so this is it. We have this imbalance, we have this liquidity sweep, and then I was looking to take a sell at, Okay, so 37, 0, 56, 63. Let's make it the same thing. Yeah, and then my stop loss just above here at 38, 6, 9, 5. Yep, so that was a 1,639 peep stop loss. That is about six, um, 1,639. To so my broker, that is about $10.63. Yeah stop loss so the stop loss for this trade was ten dollars and i think i marked out this area as the break of structure let me check so i said bus yeah so why was this a break of structure yeah because from what i can see yeah you know this was like very far back in time but now from what i can see you know i think this was like the higher high higher low higher high so we are still within the range this is the range and then this is the range this did not actually break structure it gave us this potential higher low but failed to create a new higher high and then you know market actually closed below this but didn't close below this one yet until when we had when we came to this area that was when we had the break of structure so the break of structure to me is supposed to be from here not this one so i'm just saying it now Okay, I'm just saying it now. 
All right. And then I was looking to take a cell from, you know, feel of this imbalance. I want to smart on it to feel the imbalance and then mitigation to happen before price should, you know, drop. But obviously, from what I can see, I'm not sure I had that. Okay. So I was targeting way below because I can see I marked that this uh, liquidity area there. So I already missed out on the break of structure. So I can see why I took a loss on that now. You can see, boom, it didn't play out. Hit my stop loss and then price, you know, rallied all the way to the upside. I missed out on the range already. Break of structure was wrong. The range was wrong from what I can see. So we took a second loss on this trade. That's on, on Bitcoin. Okay, so come here, a ninth trade. All right, we are also down 1%, okay? All right, so for the total reward, there is no total reward on this also because we lost that trade. So we are also down 1%. All right. Okay. All right, so I marked it out, it SL, right? The trade did not play out, actually smash SL because I was already wrong on the range and then I made mistake also on, uh, on, on the break of structure. Yes, I was actually supposed to look for a buy opportunity from what I can see here. Okay, but then, you know, I'm still getting better, right? So I took a second loss and then this, we've explained this. So the next one, was wow this is on a 15 minutes time frame february 9th okay on the 9th of february 6 in the morning 6 32 a.m in the morning i actually marked out this with my phone okay so it was on 15 minutes time frame on the 9th of february so um 9th of february is is oh we've passed it i think it's here so on a 15 minutes time frame, February 9th. Um, so February 9th. Okay, this is it here. So, so Bitcoin was bullish, was buying up, you know. Uh, so from what I can see, do I have the link to that? Okay, yes, I do. So I'm just gonna copy it and then paste it here. All right, so I was looking to take a buy. Normally, now, I, I won't trade this. <laughs> but then, actually, I was actually looking to buy. So let's see what happened. So my entry was at 43.263. I'm sure that, was, that is where this is. So I was looking to buy. Okay, but from what I can see, in terms of the structure of the market, we're bullish. I high, I low, and then maybe this higher high. Okay, so price still went up. So I high, and then this. And so I was actually looking to buy. But then, you know, when I marked out the trade idea, none of this, um, none of this had happened. So I was anticipating this was going to be equal highs. I think that's what I was anticipating. Maybe this was going to be equal highs and then price should rally down and then activate me and then go up for the equal high state. That was what I think I was thinking then. But as we can see, that didn't happen. And I'm not sure this did not activate me. I think price left also. It came so close, but then just left. I think so. I remember. Yeah, it came very close to entry. I think that was it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> came very close to entry and then left. All right, so this one also, we're gonna say price left. Can you see, came very close to entry and then price left. Okay, so missed by what? Missed by few pips. So I missed that on this trade by a few pips. And I mean, looking at the structure of the market, you know, how we gave us this higher high, higher low, higher high, and then it broke the structure, I think. I should have been looking for a sell opportunity. 
instead of you know the buy or like i did before have the sell and also have the buy you understand but if i was actually looking for a sell opportunity if i had marked out the sell trade based on this structure break you know it would have been a nice sell entry here with my stop loss just above the high and i'm sure i've had like a one to four on this um I was think I was just so focused on the buy playing out that I didn't see the sell and I missed it by uh, a couple of pips and then price just went all the way up. So uh, what trade? This the tenth trade was uh, missed by a few. Pips. So we can say price left also. So the tenth trade. All right, we can see so. Price left. We're just going to say price left also. <laughs> so we're 10th trade, the price, uh, price left. All right. So price left. Okay. I marked it out here. Price left us. So this is the 10th trade. And then price left. All right. So the next time I marked out a trade idea on Bitcoin was on the 15th of February. Okay. I think I have the link. So I actually used my system to mark this out. All right. So this was on the 15th of February, 2021, 2 a.m. in the morning, 2.51 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> All right, so what was I looking at? This was the buy, yeah, that I missed. So we had an imbalance in price, okay. And then in terms of structure, I think I was using this tiny lines for structure there. So we had this higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and then higher high. All right, so I was only take the sell if price close below the higher low. So I think I was waiting for the break of structure before I'm going to take the sell trade. So let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. This was on the one hour time frame now. So we're going to go up to the one hour and then we'll, let's see. Let's wait for all of the candles to print. All right, so yes, this was it. So from, yeah, I wrote, only take the sell if price close below the higher low at 46, 5, 30, 51. Since I consider the candle bodies as, you know, my structure point, so I'm waiting for a close below the last higher low. And uh, I'm not sure we had that. So let's bring out this. And then this was higher high, higher low, higher high. So we had the last candle close down here. So as you can see, although we had a week down to capture this liquidity, obviously, you can see this liquidity resting yet. So captured it. But we did not have the candle body close. So the trade idea to me was not valid. I was only going to take the sell if we have a candle close below structure as you can see we did not have that so trade idea was not valid so so there was no trade for me there that was no trade for me okay that was no trade for me all right so trade idea wasn't validated price didn't break structure all right that's what i said so now the next one was when march 8 2021 march 8 2021 uh i changed <laughs> my limits order color all right so let's see what we have let me copy the link and then come here and then do paste and go all right so march 8 2021 13:44. that is 1 44 p.m i marked out this on the 15 minutes time frame also march 8 and 15 minutes time frame. So I think that is going to be, ooh, that's very, very far. So I just go to like the four hours so we can speed it up. So March 8th.
I think it's this one yet. Okay, okay, okay. So March 8th on 15 minutes time frame. Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right, so what was I looking at? All right, let's just stop liquidity. So we had a break of structure. Okay, high, 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 low, high, high. We had a break of structure. Institutional candle, 886 fib, divergence with Ethereum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking good. Let's see if it played out. All right, let's see if it played out. <laughs> okay. Wow, we didn't. <laughs> Actually thought it did, you know. Oh shit, didn't play out. I think it's shit. Um, hit stop loss, so it didn't play out. This one did not play out. Okay, so let's try to see what went wrong in terms of structure. Were we bullish or bearish based on this time frame? You know, we had this higher high, we had this higher low, we had this higher high, and then price broke structure. So market was bearish. Okay, so I was looking at you know taking a sell from this very last of candle. Okay, because I wanted having the smallest stop loss possible. Okay, and then that was where my entry was. I was aiming for this, you know, low after my one, two, three, and then, you know, uh, just stop above the high. It starts about 351 pip. That is a $3 stop loss on my broker with a 0 0.01 lot size. But then this did not play out for me. No, it hit stop loss. So, um, the 11th trade. We have minus 1% also. And then for the total reward, uh, minus 1. I'm just going to go with minus 1 also. Okay, so um, let's let's look at one more before we conclude on this episode. Okay, let's look at one more. So this did not play out. This is stop loss. All right, that's good. That's good. We've made enough already. All right, so losing one, two, three. Wow. And then the ones that are supposed to activate us, they did not come to our entry. <laughs> so let's see. So this hit stop loss. Okay. All right, okay, so the next one, which is you know, gonna be the last uh, for this episode. All right, so the last was March 8th. So three days after I marked out a trade idea again on Bitcoin. Now, one thing that is interesting about this is, as we can see, I was aiming for all time highs at 60K. You know, I actually captured the moment Bitcoin hit 60K. You know, I was on the screen. I was on my system and I was also like watching it on my MT4 as it was going all the way to 60K. So I was able to catch that moment when Bitcoin hit, like when price actually spiked up to 60, like 60000.00. I caught that moment, you understand, when it hit 60K. So I was anticipating Bitcoin to hit 60K. All time highs, market was bullish, right? And then I was looking to take a buy from this imbalance that price created. We have some internal liquidity that is present there with this eye. So I think I was beginning to understand what internal liquidity was. You understand? And then what liquidity is generally. And, you know, I always love to trade with the trend of the market. And so, so it's bullish. Let me look for buy opportunities. And as you can see, I had an entry at... Uh, 55 point four, uh, 55 for 29 point 20 March 11. All right, so March 11. Oh, 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 geez. Okay, I think I copied and pasted it in the wrong uh place. So, sorry, I copy it's supposed to be supposed to be this. Copy and this here. All right, then paste and go. This is supposed to be the trading view. I closed it by mistake. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Mm. 
Wow. So we have to like go back uh, the way to match. April, uh, we have February. So I think he's uh, this. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Sorry about that. It's something like this. Yes, it was on a one hour time frame. This was it, guys. This was it. So the market was bullish, just like we can see here. I was so happy about this trade. You understand? And my stop loss, from what I can see, is 54929. I think it's the same thing. So let's five four nine two now. So you can see I didn't change anything. The stop loss on this trade was four ninety nine point seventy eight. So let's say approximately the stop loss on this trade was five dollars. Okay, five dollars stop loss. I was looking to play the imbalance. I mean, this trade is a very dangerous trade because normally how I'm going to trade this now. My stop loss is supposed to go at external liquidity here because my range for this trade this is my down range yeah and then this is my top range here that is how i'm going to trade it now like 2022 you get if i was to like mark out this trade and then the imbalance that we have here okay so we have some ipa in this area i mean if i'm going to play this ipa 50 percent and then my stop loss is going to go below the range i mean something like this this is i'm going to trade this you know one to three and then 60k but then <laughs> i left it like the stop loss at a few other like that's 500 pip below that is going to be at the few of the imbalance completely i mean very dangerous but i was lucky because it played out and stand. So I was uh, anticipating that smart money is going to capture the internal liquidity, feel, uh, feel the imbalance that is present, and then you know continue going higher. And from what I can see, I can see this trend line. So let's try to see what what was I thinking then? Uh, what was I thinking? Okay, okay. Was that a trend? Uh, maybe it's from here. Uh, was it from here? So let's see. Was it this or this? I can actually remember. I can see it's not touching this. It's not touching this. So if that is it, I mean, maybe it is this too. Maybe this, this, and then I projected it like all the way to the front. Maybe something like this. Was it this one? Uh, was it this? Let me see. Uh, maybe. Uh, I think maybe this was a trend line. So I think I drew it from here. Maybe this first start, the second one, and then I projected it all the way to the front. So as you can see, so I marked out the trade idea, uh, played out perfectly for me. Perfectly, perfectly. I was close. I was close. Okay. But then we actually did hit 60K. <laughs> and then it actually went all the way to the upside. So this, you know, a one to nine reach the reward played out perfectly, perfectly. It hit 60K just like I anticipated. And then you can see actually went up and up and up above, like went more than one to 60, uh, one to nine before price uh, dropped. So this was a very, very good trade idea for me. Gave me like a total on this trade is a one to one or 12. Okay, it didn't get to 1 to 13, so that's a 1 to 12 uh, risk to reward. So 1 to 12, whoo, that's good, right? After taking three losses, and then the first one on the seventh trade was a loss. Eighth trade did not activate. Would have actually made money on the eighth trade, but it did not activate. And then the ninth trade, loss again. Okay, 10th trade failed to activate. <laughs> and then 11th trade, loss. And then the 12th trade, all right, 12 trade. Uh, we made up 3%. Okay. Oh, sorry. 3%. And then if you left it, total reward, I was a 1 to 12 reach to reward for you. Okay. 1 to 12 reach to reward. That's plus 12%. So now let's look at this. Okay. Now, 
the first trade all the way to the sixth trade where her wins, right? Where her winning trades and we hop big. Now, the seventh trade was a loss. Now, eighth trade did not activate. The next trade that activated me was also a losing trade. And now the 10th trade did not activate, but played out. The 11th trade was a loss. So now I was able to take this trade because I did not over leverage on a trade. So now this seventh trade that actually was a loss for me. If I had, you know, um, breached a lot on the seventh trade, I might not even have an account. So I made three, six, three, six, nine, twelve, you know, fifteen, eighteen, up eighteen percent, and then maybe because you know I was excited, very happy, and then the seventh trade, I decided to risk that whole eighteen percent on one trade. Now that trade actually eats stop loss. All the all the money I made with different trade ideas, I marked out, thinking, cracking my brain. I lost everything on just one single trade. Great, right? I was trying to triple <laughs> the account. It's not going to be wise to do that. So I wouldn't even have an account to take the ninth trade or the tenth or the eleventh trade. It's time. But from what we can see here, if you're consistent with your risk, it's just a matter of time before you're going to recover it back again. So I lost three trade, one, two, three. And then the 12th trade, I recovered all the losses, all the losses back. I was down 3%, next trade gave me 3%, I'm up. But if I was doing for the total risk reward, I mean, even if you take the next 10 trades and there are losses, you're still going to be hot big because the first one was 5%, 4%, 32%, 11%, 52%, 5%, So if you lose one and then you lose one and then you lose one, and then for the next 10, 15 trade, you keep losing, 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 losing. You will still be hop big. Yeah, you will still be hop big. And then this was what, 12%. The 12th trade was 12%. And I was so excited that I marked it out. Oh, sorry. Okay. I marked this, I marked the trade idea out. And, you know, I was able to see Bitcoin get to 60K. I was amazing for me you know i actually saw it when it was about to hit 60k and then it went all the way up to like you know 112 and then price rallied all the way down so amazing so 112 so and the next call i'm going to be discussing this one i marked out on july third. wow that was a big big um the last one was march and then the next one I can see here is July. So we have, we have April, we have May, we have June. So maybe I didn't look at it for three months because I can't find any markup within that three months. So the next one was July the third. Okay, so we're gonna discuss this. We're gonna be starting with this on episode three. So for episode two, we have been able to cover from the fifth trade all the way to the 12th trade. You understand. So the first trade, starting from the fifth, was a win. Sixth was a win. You know, didn't win the seventh one. The eighth left. Ninth was a loss. Tenth left. Uh, eleventh was a loss. And then twelfth, we were able to recover our money. Okay. So now let's now do the uh, total calculation. Uh, so how should we do it? How should we do it? How should we do it? Um. So this was the first episode one was of 12% and 52%, uh, 12% and 52%. Uh, so this is three, 3%, 3%, 1%. Uh, let's just do for this episode. So three, three, that is six, uh, minus one, that is five. So we're not gonna have the one that price left. So minus three. So we are up 3% plus 3%, that is 6%. Yeah, so 6% for this episode two plus 6%. Am I correct? Three, three, six, five, four, three, three, six. Yes, so uh, 6%. And then for the total reward, the total reward is we're up 5%. The 
Okay, so let's use the calculator. That is five. And then we made 22%. Uh, and then we lost 1%. Okay, and then we lost another 1%. And then we lost another 1%. Okay, and then we made 12%. That is 36%. We're still up 36%. So we're still up 36%. So plus. That is six percent. So now, if we had it, sort of episode one, that is twelve percent, fifty-two percent, so six percent for the reward of three plus twelve percent, we are up eighteen percent on our account. Eighteen percent, yeah. And then for total reward, I mean, we're up big. That is uh, six, eight, five, eight. That is we are up eighty-eight <laughs> percent. That is insane. We're up eighty-eight percent. So uh, this is where we are going to stop for episode two. We're able to cover one, two, three, four. We're able to cover eight trades. All right, so that is going to be it for me. You guys have an amazing day. Thanks for watching, okay? Bye-bye.